Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about Wiki. So by the end of today's video, you'll understand what Wiki is, how to add one to your channel, and why it's really useful sometimes to use a Wiki. I'm Gavin Jones, I work for a Fortune 500 company as part of my day job. I've trained over 100 people in person on Teams by this point in time. And these videos are some sticking points that we've seen from our users after training once they've been using it in the real world. So hopefully you'll find them useful as well. We've got a new video coming out every single Tuesday on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we've got a new video. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it today. So first thing we want to do is add a wiki to our channel. I think when you add a new channel, the default is you get a conversations tab, a files tab and a wiki tab set up for you when you start a new channel. If you don't have a new channel, you just got general, I don't think it comes with a wiki tab. But let's have a look at adding a wiki tab if you want a new one or if you didn't have one to start with. So again, we're in a test team here, so there's only me posting in it. Um, if I hit the little plus icon to add a tab and wiki is one of the options to add. So we're just going to keep it named as wiki for now. Hit save and that's going to create a brand new wiki for us. So if you've never heard of wiki, it's pretty much like a digital notebook. So if you use OneNote, you can think of wiki as a cut down version of OneNote. Um, if you don't use OneNote, you can just think of wiki as um, a digital notebook. So all the wiki is arranged in pages and sections. So if I hit the little um, menu icon on the side, it expands out to show me the pages and sections we've got so far. As with any tab in Teams, you can hit the expand button and you get a bit of a, a, a larger view. So you can see the menu at the same time as you're typing. Why is wiki useful? Well, the conversations bit of Teams is obviously quite um, fast flowing, so it's quite difficult to keep track of everything that's going on in a really large team with lots of conversations going on, although it's very useful to do it that way. Um, but you probably need somewhere permanent or more permanent to store decisions, notes, um, conversations thread is not a great place to put that because it's going to get lost in the thread, whereas a wiki is a bit more permanent. So you might think, why do we use wiki instead of a Word document or anything else you might put notes on? Um, I'm going to show you some of that now because it integrates pretty well with, with Teams, so get some benefits of that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to name my page, so um, test page. You can see it filling out in the menu icon at the same time as my um, typing here. And then a section that we might have, um, period, six notes, say. Um, and then content goes here, so you know where you're putting content and you can put all your notes in um, down the bottom. You see some of these icons at the top, so you've got rich formatting, highlighting, um, you can put in headings and, and stuff like that. All the stuff you're probably used to in a text editor. Um, what we've been using it for is linking in other files. So where the chat's really good at sharing a couple of files, people have want, been wanting to share folders where things keep it updating. Or you might have things shared across a number of channels. So you might have um, some finance information coming in, um, some categories, so maybe some pricing, um, some marketing information. They might all be stored in different um, channels. And we've been using the hyperlinks in Wiki to keep everything together. So for like one period, you might need all of that information in one review meeting, say. Um, so we've been using the hyperlinks in, in Wiki to do that. So um, to quickly show you an example of that, and then if I jump back out into the files tab, we can go and grab a link from a file, get link, copy that link, and then go into wiki. And we can post a rich text link here. So we're gonna say uh, link to file for this one, but you can name it something a bit better than that when you do it properly. Um, and then we've got a hyperlink back to the file. So if that makes sense to you, if you've got, if you can see a need for wiki, then type wiki in the comments below and let us know that you found it useful. So just while I remember the way wiki works is you know you're editing it when you've got a purple line against the section. Um, wiki allows one person to edit a section at a time. So when you click into that section, you're in edit mode 
you've got a purple line and if there was more than one person in at the same time you'd see whether they locked out that section or not. If you click out of the section then that's sort of view mode so that's when the link becomes available to click and if you click it it will just take you to that file. To add a new section you just click the plus button um, and once you've got a couple of sections then you can add one above or below the second section so you can sort of keep your latest notes at the top if you wanted to. So if I jump back into the menu you can then see we've got the test page and then we've got two, now two sections and the benefits of wiki over words say for keeping stuff more permanent is that you can link directly to a section either by copying a link and pasting it somewhere probably into another wiki so you can keep wiki pages linked together across multiple channels which is quite handy or you can just start a conversation directly with that section with this um, little chat icon so if i click that it's going to post me a conversation window at the side just like we have got a conversation window at the side of any file in teams and then you can start typing and at mentioning people updated the notes hit enter and then again like anything in teams we've got a conversation window at the side of a file it's going to post you can see the conversation about that section so you can see all of the chat about it you can have multiple people editing the wiki so you can sort of keep it up to date and more than one person can take the notes or add to them or add their links in there and then if we go back to the conversations page then you can see that there's then obviously that the chat associated with that wiki is posted in the conversations window and wherever someone puts a reply to that wiki in the conversation thread um, that's also going to be shown against that section in wiki so that's why you might want to use wiki instead of word just to recap then you might want to use a wiki to, for a more permanent place to store decisions or notes if you want to do actions i would say use planner but we'll do that in a, another video so I hope that video is useful remember to like and subscribe it if you did and um, hit the little notification bell you'll get notified every time we produce a new video which comes out every tuesday on youtube also if you found it useful remember to share it with someone that might find it useful as well so what do you think about wiki is it something you're going to use or not let us know in the quiz above and remember at me time we really care about trying to save people time at work so they can do more of the things they love it might be more work it might be more time with your friends and family um, but we think that meetings is one of the biggest time wasters at work and it's great that we can meet more frequently now due to technology but the quality of those some of those meetings uh, does still have room for improvement so we've produced an app that we think helps with that if you're interested in finding out more go and visit metimeapps.com um, and really appreciate it if you went and had a look. So thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the next video.